focus groups are a research method which centres on exploring and understanding people's attitudes in relation to a topic of interest. These essentially involve engaging a number of people in a group discussion, which is guided by a sequence of questions that are of particular interest to the researcher. So, let's imagine the construction of a building. The table represents a specific interest for the researcher, and this base acts as the foundations and can be the questions. The subsequent insight obtained through discussions builds on this area of interest and provides the researcher with data which forms the main structure and completes the building and thus the area of importance. Focus groups encourage a flexible and natural setting, allowing participants to respond and comment on each other's contributions. Data obtained with this method is therefore detailed as people reveal their specific thoughts and feelings. Due to the depth of knowledge which can be obtained, focus groups are a method used by all manner of disciplines and with a variety of age groups. For instance, focus group data obtained with young children help lead to the iconic design of the London 2012 Olympic mascots, Wenlock and Mandeville. In contrast, and demonstrating the versatility of this method, focus groups have been used to understand women's attitudes towards the thin ideal and to also understand the needs of men with prostate cancer. Recently, focus groups have been used to understand how children experience maths. Discussions have revealed that some children, from as young as four years old, experience anxious feelings in their lessons. These are characterised by the awareness of an intelligence hierarchy, negative perceptions of teachers, competing with and depending on other children, and minimal parental support. So, focus groups are a cost-effective research method and are simple to implement with varying age groups and populations. Participants can provide detailed and reflective insight by fully elaborating on their feelings and experiences. The exploratory nature of focus groups can provide a more complete picture of the topic of interest and with better understanding of human experiences, appropriate action can be taken. For instance, understanding what factors contribute to the development of mathematics anxiety in children can lead to the implementation of intervention strategies at an early age. Finally, Focus groups give the advantage of research being guided and informed by the target population, which reduces reliance upon researcher assumptions.